McDonald's is the best fast food restaurant in the world. Wait, stop, don't click off, you know I'm right. That's why McDonald's has 36,000 locations in over 120 countries. But in order to lure innocent civilians into their deep, dark, heart disease-inducing depths, they have to stand out. They have to be bold. They have to be showy, garish, gaudy, ostentatious, sensational, meretricious, opulent, peacocky, splendiferous, tawdry, hot dog, Tony? Those are definitely not supposed to be there. Hmm. Anyways, McDonald's owners have always gone to great lengths to attract customers. Sometimes this has resulted in questionable design choices. So today, we're going to offer our own two cents on these McDonald's models. I've curated 21 of the most distinct locations for us to evaluate, and there's a couple that will blow your mind. <laughs> Why did I say that? What compelled me? Mm. Anyways, let's break out the list and get started. Okay, so before we begin, let me go ahead and explain how this is going to work. We're going to be using the completely scientific and objective scale that I've developed here to rank these esteemed establishments. So on one end, over on this side, we have Grimace, um, lovable mascot, everyone knows Grimace. Why is his name Grimace? I was never clear on that. But look at this photo, he's so happy, he's wearing a construction helmet. Love to see it, love to see Grimace. And over here on this end, we have the six piece chicken nugget happy meal with apple slices, chocolate milk, extra ketchup, and a boy toy please. No, I will not elaborate on which end is better or which end is worse, Grimace. But anyways, that's up for you to decide. Let's go ahead and let's get to ranking these. Yes, yes, yes. So the first location lined up is the original McDonald's. This is the McDonald's that was open in 1961? Is that correct? I'm not up to date on my McDonald's lore. You have to forgive me. This McDonald's, um, it's pretty bland. I like the random guy they just have on the sign, and I like the 15 cent burgers. So this is gonna have to go into equilibrium. This is where the bar is set for McDonald's. It's just, it's a McDonald's. I mean, it's mid. It's securely mid. Okay, and then we have 90s McDonald's. 90s McDonald's, perfection. Perfection. The character, the physique, the aesthetic of 90s McDonald's. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Whoever was in charge of McDonald's in the 80s and 90s, they knew what was up. Because we had these like GameCube stations, we had the hamburger chairs, like the characters were everywhere. Ronald McDonald greeted you as you entered the store. Oh, oh. Amazing, amazing. This is going straight into Six Piece Happy Meal. Yes, 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 yes. After that, we have the 2010s McDonald's. Um, I'm sure we've all noticed that McDonald's is changing and they're going in the wrong direction. They should be still over here, you know, with the 90s McDonald's, but they are instead headed back towards Grimace. Uh, the new McDonald's, mm, bland, bland, awful. Why are they gray? Why are they like dark gray? Straight to Grimace bad. After that, we have McDonald's in the mall. I don't think I've ever seen a McDonald's in the mall. Why did I put this on the list? It feels like there should be a McDonald's inside malls, but I feel like usually there's like a Burger King. Burger King has like laid claim to America's malls. I'm gonna put this here. This goes here. It's fine, I guess. After that, we have McDonald's in the airport. I have seen a McDonald's in the airport, and that McDonald's, it was like coming across El Dorado. I was hungry, I was starving, I was tired, I just gotten off the plane, I was ready to get on another plane, and I was like, holy moly, that's a McDonald's right there. Let me get a six-piece McNugget. That's going over on this side. Airport McDonald's? Hits different. After that, we have a defunct McDonald's. This is the Highway McDonald's. Now, at one point, this McDonald's, located in Oklahoma, somewhere, this was the largest McDonald's in the world. And it was good. It was good. It, it has an interesting design. You can drive under the McDonald's. It's going like over here. I feel like Oklahoma Highway McDonald's. Uh, yeah. And now up next is the actual current largest McDonald's in the world. This is the one in Orlando, Florida. And this McDonald's, mm, it slaps. I've never been inside. My parents always say no. But you know, one day, one day. One day, I'm gonna get to go in and eat the pizza. That's right, this McDonald's has a special menu, and it is signature to this McDonald's and this McDonald's only. They remodeled it, which automatically makes it kind of bad, but it does have cool stuff, so me, no, it's bad, it's bad. I, I give the world's largest McDonald's, like, it's slightly below mall McDonald's, which don't even exist, so 
mm, speaks for itself. And after that, we have the claimed largest McDonald's in the world. There are so many of these. I don't know why all of these locations claim to be the largest. Don't ask me. Russian McDonald's. Russian McDonald's, why? Number one, why? Number two, it looks like a Denny's. This is, this is not even a McDonald's. Like, they did minimal effort here. They just slapped the McDonald's logo in Cyrillic on this, like, sign. There's no golden arch. I mean, there's, like, tiny little baby golden arches. But, like, they could have done a little bit, you know, gone all out. Because this was the first ever location in Russia. Like, come on, where is Ronald? Where is the gang? Where is McDonald land, the play place? Like, what is this? Actually, this needs its own category. I don't... No, 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 no. This is going straight into the Denny's category. Um, do better, Russia. Next McDonald's, Irish McDonald's. This McDonald's is like a side quest because it's hidden. It's like they have put up this fancy facade in which I believe was like an old town hall and they kind of hid the golden arches behind the main entrance. So like you have to go out of your way to find this McDonald's, which I think is kind of, you know, it, it's fun. It's quirky. This is going, it's about the same level as the Oklahoma McDonald's. And then after the Irish McDonald's, we have possibly the classiest McDonald's location on the globe. This McDonald's is located somewhere in Portugal. And this McDonald's, it's got chandeliers. It's got like wooden detailing. It's got a golden eagle statue. Like, wow, wow. This is going, it's on the, here. It goes here. No more explanation. And now continuing our tour of Europe, we're gonna head over to the French McDonald's. This McDonald's, it's it's a lot. It's a lot. There's a lot going on. Uh, the new 2010s design of the McDonald's below, and then like some kind of medieval artwork above. Interesting choice. This is also, for some reason, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. This McDonald's, which why again i have so many questions for all these people like why did they need to make these mcdonald's so flamboyant but anyways this mcdonald's it also has like a king carved out of wood in the middle which i'm pretty sure is like a trademark of burger king why are they advertising burger king at this french mcdonald's this is this goes in grimace this is all the way over on this end and now that we're done with europe we're gonna head over to asia I don't know if everyone has seen these commercials, but for some reason, McDonald's in Japan was like desperate for people to work there. So they made like a mini anime commercial series trying to entice people to come work at McDonald's. And the McDonald's in those commercials, it's pretty good, it's pretty good. Now I know I'm being hypocritical because I did say the new McDonald's redesigns were bad. But like inside these McDonald's, they have the bright red and it does contrast with black. I don't know, it looks good to me. I like it, I like it. Not just because I am a, a, a weirdo, but um, it's aesthetically pleasing. And the main characters, lovable, likable. It's pretty good, it's, it's pretty good. Tentatively gonna put it over here. Continuing with our vaguely Asian theme. No, why we're not continuing with it. We're in New York City. We're in New York City now, specifically Chinatown. But this is, you know, the good old US of A. And in the US of A, we have Emo McDonald's. I don't know which came first, the building or the McDonald's. I'm gonna guess the McDonald's because they did redesign it and it is in the new color scheme. I don't know, this McDonald's, uh, not great. I put it over here with the French one and the remodel, bad. Okay, now we have another proclaimed largest McDonald's. When I went on a school trip to the National Air and Space Museum, uh, they told us this was the largest McDonald's. I don't even think it's a McDonald's, actually. I think it's just the cafeteria there that happens to serve McDonald's food. But yeah, this McDonald's, disappointing. Where are the planes? Where are the spaceships? Like, you could have done some theming. The US government, they fell off with this one. Bad. See, what they should have done is what the New Zealand McDonald's did. Love it. Love it. It's great. It's novel. It attracts customers and gives them an actual experience rather than just letting them down like the National Air and Space Museum. I mean, it's cool. You can sit inside a plane and eat, which I guess is what you do anyways on planes. Like, you eat there 
I don't know. It's over here. It's over here. This is cool. And yet another themed McDonald's is the McDonald's in Roswell, New Mexico. And this McDonald's, they went all out. Like this is, this is Disney level theming. Like there's a spaceship, UFO, there's some kind of structure next to it. Not sure what that is. It looks like a roller coaster. Wait, am I? What is that? Oh, is that the play place? It's cool. It's cool. And it has the like, the feel of the 90s McDonald's, but they did a good job keeping it classic, you know? And now, since the architects of the Roswell New Mexico McDonald's went all out, you know, in that Disney Imagineering fashion when they were theming that McDonald's, we are going to have to talk about the Disney McDonald's locations that were inside the parks. I'm not sure if they still are there. No, there's like one McDonald's on Disney property. Let me go back into my mind palace. Hold on. Yeah, there's only one there. These McDonald's inside Disney World only sold fries. I don't know why they didn't have other stuff there, but I mean, it was kind of nice. You could get McDonald's fries at Disney World. This is going by the other Orlando McDonald's. I feel like they're the same. And now we're gonna enter sort of the more abstract McDonald's locations. So over here we have McDonald Land. Now this is the birthplace of Grimace. I think. Was Grimace born in McDonald Land? Was Grimace born? How was Grimace? How? Not gonna think about that. McDonald Land was a commercial, right? It was a series of commercials. It is securely in the Grimace category because that is where Grimace is from. Yes. Okay. Now, another abstract location. McDonald Island in Sacramento, California. Now, some people have left reviews at this McDonald's in Sacramento and have shared their wonderful experiences at this location. It has a 4.3 rating on Google. That's pretty good. Out of nine reviews, hmm, admirable. So Haley Nicole says, it was good, but there was no McDonald's. True, true. Someone else, Solar City's Pictures, said most beautiful place in the Delta. Um, I guess, I guess. McDonald's are pretty gorgeous. Brian Williams says, I work there. Good for you, Brian. Lots of reviews, lots of reviews. Overall, 4.3 stars, eh, pretty good. So I give this, uh, it's in the Grimace category. It goes here. And now we have the more famous, more recognizable McDonald Islands, plural, of Australia. And this McDonald's is far more popular than the other island that we have on this list. And there are far more reviews. So before I share my opinion, let's go ahead, let's check some of them out. Their ice cream is ice cold, but you need to have it at the top to get that feel. Burgers might be cold as well. Mm-hmm, I could see why. It is covered in ice, but that means that the AC is always working. I mean, this is a bonus. This other person two months ago says, my Big Mac had snow in it, pretty weird. And yeah, no luck with the ice cream machine. Their machine broke again. That's pretty sad, okay. But he gave it five stars, so I mean, it didn't hinder his experience too much. This person says three stars, burgers were too cold, ice cream machine was broken, but not too bad. Okay. Everyone's giving it pretty high reviews. And you know, ironically, I feel like this four star review average of this island is better than most McDonald's <laughs> like ratings on Google. <laughs> I feel like the average McDonald's gets about two stars. So this McDonald's, uh, it's up here. It's up here for sure. And last but not least, my reason for making this video, oh, Oh, you guys are not ready. You're not ready. You're not prepared for this next McDonald's location. This is Her Majesty, the McBarge. Round of applause. Round of applause. The McBarge, oh, my beloved. I wish I was alive when it was thriving because McBarge is now defunct, sadly, I know. And it's in the hands of some rich Canadian guy who wants to turn it into like a science center. Awful, awful. You should just make it into a McDonald's again. But anyways, this McBarge, it was beautiful. The interior had like potted plants and stuff. You could like look out at the bay. Oh, glorious. And their menu was a McDonald's menu, as it should be, as it should be. The McBarge, all the way on this end. Beautiful, beautiful. So there it is, the complete timeline of my analysis, yes my scientific analysis, because I'm clearly an expert on this subject. I've been to many a McDonald's in my time. I feel like all of us have been to many McDonald's. Leave a comment if you've been to a McDonald's before. Anyways, thank you all for enduring this confusing scenario with me. 
Uh huh. Bye bye. I what 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 was the point of this? What what was the reason?